we should be coming in live. Fun. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is October 25th, 2020 and we're doing a cooking live stream. We haven't done one of these in a couple of months at least, I think. And today we're going to make a Persian lentil rice dish with lamb. Okay, and we're going to make tadik as well. The the delicious bread that gets all crispy under the pot. So we're going to use uh, stove tops, uh, two elements at some point. And we're also going to use the oven. And um, this is sort of basically a sort of a meat and potatoes type of dish. There's lentils in it. There's rice in it. We're going to use onions, um, raisins, dates, cinnamon, uh, lamb, obviously, rice, obviously, and a little bit of bread. Salt. We're going to use salt. You can use peppers as well if you want. So basically, we're not using too many ingredients, but it's a very, very nice dish. Uh, it's it's sort of on the simple front but it's really easy on the tummy and um it's hearty enough for fall and whatnot right so it's it's a dish that i really like uh it's fantastic actually i, I don't even know if we've made this before i don't think we've made it before we made we worked with lentil before but i don't think we've made lentil rice this just lamb dish uh before so that's what our plan is for today i've got everything set up um you know we've got the double angles going for uh for the videos the stove tops we got this guy right here okay we're gonna do our cooking lentils here cooking rice here uh actually cooking the lamb here as well and then cooking rice so we're gonna do it in order okay and uh, we have this element here where we're gonna do or this angle here and the element we're gonna use later as well um and this angle um this this area we're going to use to do a little bit of chopping not too much there isn't too much prep work in this i've already soaked at the lentils the rice and got some stuff ready not really just the only prep that we've really done is just the lentils and the rice I, everything else we're going to make from scratch basically right and lentil and the rice is from scratch as well <laughs> young polex how are you doing hope you're doing well let me take these down down these angles okay these cameras for now uh, i'm gonna give you guys uh, my intro as to who i am what this is all about so uh, while we wait for people uh, to roll in on the live stream as notifications go out on uh, twitch and uh, discord elder god how are you doing you were an hour early in europe uh, i think the clock uh, kicked forward an hour or back an hour so everything was an hour delayed um, I, if that if you guys did it in europe we're gonna do it here as well i believe today most likely so i believe the clock must kick back uh, if i'm correct um daylight savings time is that what it's called or the other one i forget what they're called some places do it some places you don't canada we're still doing it most parts of canada are still doing it um aside from that gang welcome to another live stream it should be fun nice and chill uh we should enjoy this darth toucan how are you doing welcome welcome gang i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so discord notification sent awesome awesome thanks elder god danite how are you doing patreon is a great way to support this project i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons share and share alike right for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you thank you very much for the support appreciate it um, it is in large part because of your sport that we're able to continue this work and uh, for those of you who are interested to see what this is all about everything is layered on mathematics as almost a thousand videos <laughs> have uh, have shown over the last 15 years or so 14 15 years we've been creating content and uh, you can follow the work and after a while following the work if you think this work deserves a little bit more support uh patreon is a great way to make sure we continue to do what it is that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch boop, boop. the chat's here if you want to participate in the chat as these live streams take place twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are who are on twitch mods thank you for taking care of business 
thank you for the follows thank you for this um for the subs thank you for the bits thank you for the discussion thank you for being here gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds bk parlor gap and twitter you can follow the work there we do share additional content as well i think chat is hidden is chat hidden i see it on mine oh never mind okay <laughs> so you know, like awesome liam how are you doing hope you're having a fantastic sunday everyone uh so you can follow the work there for live streams where we don't have visuals i've got a lot of visuals going on today uh for live streams where we don't have visuals the open discussions the audio will be loaded onto soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube right we'll keep politics on politics streams where those videos are only exclusively being loaded onto BitChute. So we can load up this video, uh, this cooking session to both BitChute and YouTube. And for those of you who are following the work on BitChute and YouTube, thank you for the support. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. But for those of you who support this work through YouTube membership, thank you for the support. Same. Thank you for the support gang on Twitch. Okay, and of course, Patreon, part of our decentralization, right? Name it a game, name it a game. I don't know if Twitch was sent. My notifications uh, were off. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And you can usually tell by the number of people here. I'm guessing not yet, because uh, we've got around 20 people here. But it's okay. People can pop in. There's going to be uh, lots of uh, lots of content to catch up on or lots of content to enjoy i guess chicho amazing stream yesterday looking forward to today's one nah, that was fun stream uh lonely piggy that was super fun super fun on my end anyway <laughs> i'm pretty sure you guys had a good time as well cheryl how are you doing hello hello happy sunday notice we're we're set i joined on that noti okay awesome awesome okay gang i want to take these guys down we're going to start this cook okay we're gonna cook up some lentils here let me turn on the camera for these guys and i'll show you what we got going on here let me show you what we got going on right now uh before the other angles come up okay we got we got this guy here we're gonna cook up the lentils first right now take a look at this side i soaked um i guess they call these red lentils right i soaked these last night right so when i soak them you don't have to soak lentils uh you don't they cook pretty easy zane how are you doing so the water was about up to here okay and the lentils were only about this much so they've sucked in the the liquid right how are you doing so doing fantastic zane thank you very much so i soaked these from last night and i soaked the rice last night as well but what we're gonna do is I want to cook up the lentils first. It won't take long to cook lentils. Lentils cook pretty rapidly. Okay. Fan James Bond, how are you doing? Let me turn on the angles and I'll show you the rice as well here. Let me show you the rice as well. Let's put this here. And when I soak them, uh, when I soak uh, whatever it is I'm soaking, soaking beans, soaking rice, soaking, soaking whatever it is, and I'm soaking overnight, I usually put them in the oven right so close it so you know they're open and they breathe and you know bugs and stuff aren't flying around or whatnot and then when i bring them out i usually put a plate on them and whatnot right just to protect them and we don't have any too many bugs here but we've got a lot of plants right and here's a rice that's been soaked uh, overnight okay we're going to give it a one final rinse and cook up the rice as well but we're going to cook the lentils first and the, i rinsed the rice in that like three or four times pour water or mix it get rid of the cloudiness and i do rinse the lentils as well red lentils my favorite nice red lentils are fantastic we have a lot of dishes that involve um red lent uh red lentils okay so let me grab this and let me turn on the cameras here because we're going to start working away on this deal looks like a lot of lentils a lot of lentils oh yeah the quantity here is two cups of lentils two cups 
and they're my cups. So there are two cups like this. Two, I'm, I'm calling this two cups. Now I'm not sure, here, let me give you the measurement on this. This is an actual cup. So this is an actual cup. So I'm gonna fill this with water, pour it in here. We'll see how much it is, okay? So. Check it out. So this is basically one cup full. Ah, not bad. A little bit more than two cups. So I would say probably two and a half cups of lentils, two and a half cups of rice. Okay. That's what we're gonna cook up. 400 grams, I would say. 400 grams? Okay. 400 grams it is. So stay. Um, I'm gonna turn, oh yeah, let me turn on the cameras. Where are we, where are we? And, 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 okay, we got everything to turn on. I gotta put on my glasses for this. Why am I soaking rice? Because they became, they, be, they, they become longer grains. You don't have to soak rice. It just less is a bus. It is basmati rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. It just becomes a longer grain. You get it. It appears like you get more for your money, right? They they expand a little bit, and it takes less energy to cook them. They cook faster, right? So it's not bad. Soaking any rice makes it cook better. It makes it cook better, basically. Uh, okay, didn't know that. Yeah, for sure. And it's uh, it's good to do. And remember rinse your rice okay so rinse your rice so i'm gonna pour i've already rinsed these guys the lentils and stuff here we'll do oops we'll do a, one one more last minute actually let's do it this way let's bring this here It's a lot of lentils, right? And I'm not sure if we're gonna use all of it in the dish, but when I cook lentils, I usually, cause we make lentil salad too, and uh, just eat lentils with lemon and um, just salt. And lentils is amazing with, uh, there's amazing lentil salad that we have, which is fantastic. Okay, so one day I'll show you guys that as well. So we're gonna cook this up. And I probably have a little bit too much water here, but that's okay. So let's kick this up. I'm putting it on, on eight and I'm gonna put the lid on it, okay? Lentils with pasta is amazing. Come to my curry night, 50 kilograms, easily cook 50 kilograms of lentils, wow, wow, wow. I'm soaking sushi rice, but basmati, I'm doing it like that in the rice cooker, yeah. But rinse all rice, okay? Rinse all rice. Cheryl, how are you doing? I've always rinsed rice. I've never thought about soaking it as well. It's not a bad idea. I don't, do I do it all the time? A 50-50. Sometimes I just want to cook rice right away. If I plan a dish, I'm usually soaking rice. And you don't have to soak it overnight. You can just soak it in the morning and cook it in the afternoon, right? Even just a couple hours of soaking rice is good. Lentils with pasta. I've just sat down for lunch to watch. Awesome, ground. Awesome. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little prep for a side dish. It's not a side dish. It complements the, the food that we're making. Okay. Basically, what we're going to do is uh, cook up lentils. We're going to cook rice, but we're going to cook lamb in the middle. So we're going to cook lentils, and I'm going to bring another pot in, cook the lamb, okay, and then we're going to cook the rice, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring casserole dish and we're gonna layer the bottom with flat bread, uh, get some olive oil on there. And then we're gonna take our lamb, put that on top of the flat bread, and then we're gonna mix our rice and lentils together. So it's a lentil rice mix uh, dish. And we're gonna lay that on top. And then we're just gonna put foil on top of it, throw it in the oven 
for about 45 minutes or so right now this dish has a side the this dish basically you eat with a side note of um, it's a sweet thing right dates um, raisins and onions cooked up together with cinnamon so you take a little bit so it becomes you can mix that in in the rice if you want or just eat the rice by itself okay 50 kilograms of life so lentils ain't on my curry night oh they're not on your curry night Ooh, 50 50 kilograms of rice you cook wow 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 is anyone familiar with uh, sh shirataki noodles shirataki noodles i'm trying them for the first time don't know them are you cooking um, cooking streams scheduled for sundays or do you stream it whenever you feel like a uh, Dar uh darth uh, took out uh, it varies it basically i follow um sort of follow my partner's schedule and she does shift work she's a nurse so i adjust my schedule according to her schedule uh so it would be cool to have a certain night for each one of these things but i end up just announcing them on uh, when i get a chance announcing them on uh, patreon and our discord page right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut up some of the dates just cut them into smaller pieces okay sounds amazing it's a really good dish okay really good dish and these dates you take out the seeds of course right you're gonna break it open take out the seed and chop it up a little bit okay and these cook super fast you better eat some of it on stream and give it a review yeah for sure <laughs> that's the plan i'm gonna be hungry by the end of this i had a good breakfast cereal but I am going to be hungry. I see. That's cool. My mom's a nurse too. Respect for all the nurses. They're the real. Yeah, huge, huge, huge. I see what they go through. It's, it's on 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 any day irrelevant of pandemics or not pandemics or whatever it is they're on the front lines like the, <laughs> like uh, i can't i can't even um explain unless you're in it okay and i'm not even in it i'm one one generation removed right but wow most healthcare uh places they're flying on full capacity 120 30 percent what is that room with all the plant that's our sort of sunroom um i remember uh, what's his name uh let's do a let's find out asmr was uh, here uh, a few streams ago for cooking and he mentioned i wish it uh, he said chicho just keep you should keep the door open because there's beautiful plants there i usually close it because the light if it's super sunny it's really bright but right now it's sort of cloudy it's nice light so i decided to keep it open and i brought those plants in the big tree you see there's a datura plant that i grew from seed from like 18 years ago give my hands a little white you like the door open Graham? okay yeah door open is good door open it is nurses are built different their tolerance for stress dude it's a war zone they're on the front lines of a war zone and it's for real right there's some people that are uh, don't really appreciate uh, what's going on in the world uh nurses <laughs> if you're around that you know exactly what's going on in the world it's crazy okay like priorities priorities thank you very much darth uh toucan for the tier one sub and thank you for the follows gang thank you for the subs i'm just gonna give this a little stir okay and let's bring this out let's just put this plate here and we can put our utensils in there so what i'm going to do is by the way i got a uh, little liqueur from 
yesterday. Cornelian cherries. Salute, gang. Salute. Crazy delicious. Crazy delicious. Opened up the can of worms yesterday when we sampled everything. Here's the Cornelian cherries. Okay. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I put it here just in case I need a refill. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, uh, I'm not sure how many dates I took. I didn't do the count. Everything 10 out of 10. We have one 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> but yeah, everything 10 out of 10. I'm just going to chop these guys up. Okay. And I'm going to put them in this dish. That way we have it in this. Just another dish. Just break it up. And you want the dates. So I'm going to cut them up like this. I'm just going to show them to you, right? And I'm going to cut them like fairly thin, right? I'm going to cut them sort of bigger than raisin size. You don't have to cut them this small, but you need to do, you do need to break them up a little bit. You don't want big chunks of, ah, uh, some people do, big chunks of dates. I, I like it cut up a little bit. Okay, distributes, distributes better. All right, when you're taking a bite out of the rice, if you're mixing this in there, yeah, you get, you know, nice mix of raisins and dates and, Onions and mix as well. And you can use, uh, by the way, apricots as well with this, uh, cranberries as well. But I'm going nice traditional, like cranberries and apricots. I don't know if I've never had anyone else use it. Uh, other than me so whenever I haven't had raisins or dates um, it you know I've used those two as a substitute and it goes good it goes well together the cucumber was unique yeah <laughs> the cucumber was there's got to be someone out there that they, they'll taste the cucumber and go this is the most amazing drink I've ever had right uh, that person is not me, but there might be someone out there. I find dates too sweet for me. Yeah, it it is sweet, but man, dates are super food. Like even if you just eat one, right? Dates are super food. And they keep you regular, right? Tons of iron in them. Hello, this meal gonna be a great delicious one. Send some to Brazil. <laughs> Salutations to Brazil. From the west coast of Canada. I'm making a fair bit of this, by the way. Usually I wouldn't make this much, but I plan on making a, a lot of it. Like this is how much dates, right? Now, you could make half this amount and still be okay, right? Uh, it really depends if you want the sweetness in there. I'm going to throw about that much raisins in the dish as well. Okay. I got three, four of these guys left over. Now, what I want to do is I want to chop up some onions. Okay, we need the onions. Not too much, but, you know, enough to... Uh, once we cook it, we're going to caramelize it a little, cook it slow and and then get it a little bit black and then throw the raisins and the dates in together with the cinnamon and mix it up. Okay, let's give this guy another spin. Just making sure that nothing sticks in the bottom of the pan, right? If you feel stickiness at the bottom, uh, spin it. Right. Give it a twirl. And the lentil juice you can keep 
I'm not going to. Okay, you can keep it to use for broths and soups and stuff like this. So, onions. I keep the onions in a box with the potatoes on the ground with a rag on top so it keeps them dark. Right? That's a good way to store your onions as you're using them. I could get a whole pack of lentils like that. I love them. Yeah, lentils are amazing. Super food. Super food. Right? And lentils are the easiest to digest, I find, out of all the beans and stuff. Yeah, we'll do this. Chop them up. Cut them in half and then peel off the outer layer. Lentil salad is amazing. Box office, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Cheers, box office. Thanks for popping in. And I'm just gonna throw these in compost. Fell down. Oh no. We'll put it over there. Lark Bark, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho. Oh, you're pretty hungry already. Yeah, yeah. I am actually. I'm craving this dish. I've been craving this dish. I'm craving uh, uh, power food right now. Just in the fall. I like. In the summer, I like the. I like the food to be on the lighter side, but in the fall, I like the food to be on the heavier side. Graham, does your CSA provide the uh, meat? Is that just, uh, no, they don't provide meat. And we just signed up, we did it for the uh, spring fall session, and we just signed up the, uh, sp sorry, spring summer session, and we just signed up for, uh, we just got our first package for the, I think last week for the fall winter session. So they're going through fall and winter as well. I'm doing good. Thank you. Awesome. Lark bark. I want to cut this little bit off. It's a little soft. So get rid of it. And we're going to chop this off fine, right? The kicker with this dish is uh, you can just go slow on things. You don't have a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be ready at the same time that you need to mix. You can cook the lentils your own sweet time, right? And then cook the meat and then cook the rice. Chicho, why your voice is always so calm? Um, I don't know. Can you teach us how to be so calm? Uh, read comic books, do mathematics, cook your own food, collect books, read books, watch amazing movies, uh, filter out the noise of the world. Uh, that takes a little bit of... Uh, don't be a reactionary. That's huge. You know... I find reactionaries or there's a stress level in their voice and that takes time right oh, the onions is making my eyes go these are strong onions Gina how you doing oh. wow 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 strong onions these ones I haven't Use this batch before. Oh, you made an attempt at a Vietnamese pho. I've never made. I love it though. 
weeks ago. Epic fail. <laughs> the broth is an art. The broth is an art. The broth is everything. For most, uh, even ramen. Ramen and most uh, soup dishes from Asia, the broth is everything, right? Okay, let's give this another spin. A happy life. Make you calm down. A happy life. Sometimes it can be stressful too, right? But knowing how to roll with the punches is pretty important. That just comes in with experience, really. Yes, more cooking shows, please, Chicho. <laughs> bubble, bubble, double O negative. How are you doing? More cooking. We haven't done for a while. So I'm looking forward to this, right? That sounds amazing. I will try everything that is good takes time. Yeah, you just enjoy and chill with it, right? What's a reactionary? A reactionary is, you know, they may have amazing hearts and everything like this. But they don't see the punches, the blows, life coming, right? So they don't analyze. They get lost in their own bubbles, right? So they're, they're not prepared for what life is about to deal them. They're reactionaries. So something happens, they react because they didn't know that it was coming or they hadn't prepared for what is coming, right? So media, corporate media really wants you to be a reactionary centralized power wants you to be a reactionary because they can go bah, 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 and you go oh and then they go bah, 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 and you go oh come over here and they go bah, 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 and you oh you run over here right as we're growing up everybody goes through that phase right because all of a sudden you're you start analyzing you start looking you go oh wow 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 wow, wow, wow. it's like when you're a kid you put everything in your mouth after a while you find out that that poop on the ground does not deserve to be in your mouth right you've already tried that I don't know how many people have eaten poop off the ground but I know some kids do right so after sampling life you should start filtering out the garbage reactionaries are people who don't understand how to filter out the garbage okay that's my definition by the way uh, Leo I'm not sure if that's the official definition that's the way I look at it. Someone who lets the emotions take control, not mine, I believe. It's important to have emotions and feel strongly about things, but don't understand what the cause and effects are and stuff, right? Cause and effects are ridiculously important. You can know how... Now, I'm not going to cook the lentils to a level where they're really soft, right? I want to cook the lentils to a level where they're edible, but not totally broken down, right? So I'm just going to, you know, put this over here. Because I've soaked them, they cook really fast, right? I'm just going to take one and put it in my mouth. And... Like, that's almost ready. <laughs> Right? That's what happens when you soak lentils. <laughs> Crazy. It was super good. Super good. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. So let's put that back in. Now that we've done this, we can just cook the cook the lamb as well, right? As soon as this guy's done. Let's try it out. Yeah, that's good. I'm done already. Spoon one in my mouth. It goes in the, what do you call it? Uh, the sink or the dishwasher, right? So I'm just going to take this, put it in the sink and drain this. Okay. Let's turn this off. Is this hot? Hot enough. Not enough. Okay, let me put 
put this here and I'll show you guys how much lentils we got. Right? I'll pour that on top as well. I should keep this, uh, the juice as well, by the way. Maybe I will. Here, take a look. So we got a little bit more than this, right? So I'm just going to give the bowl a rinse and then pour the lentils in there and then pour the rest in it as well. Okay. And the broth. <laughs> the broth, the broth. You know what? The broth I'm going to pour back in here and use the pot later and save it. Second September last cooking stream. Second step. Oh man, it's been over. It's been a month and a half, Elder Goat. That's too long. Let's pour it here. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Usually do this in the sink, but why not? That's a lot of lentils. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's do. do, 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 do. This one we're gonna have to drain. So let's do it this way. How are we gonna do this? We need to get rid of this. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's see. Glad I'm not the only person who does the hum thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> Without the hum, where would we be, <laughs> right? <laughs> where would we be? Right, let's pour this in here too. And let's bring this guy back. So here's our lentil juice. I'm gonna keep this. Where's my lid? There it is. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna move this guy. Let me make some room over here. Let's put this guy here. Let's move this pan over here. Let's move this guy over here. Save it, yeah. Gotta save it, Elder God. I can't just throw this away. You can cut up vegetables and it just makes a good broth, right? If you don't want to do anything with it right away, just let it cool down, put it in a container, put it in the freezer, you got lentil juice, right? So it's uh, super good. So let's bring this. We're gonna cook up the lamb, gang. I wanna put some oil on this. Because I've already turned off the heat. Let's put some oil on this. So the lamb, um, the lentils, crazy fast cook, right? Freeze broth in ice cube trays. Easy to store in portion. Ah, not bad. Is that enough though? A little bit of container? It'd work. I do it in blocks. So let's put this up. Let's bring our, these guys over. We're just gonna use the same lid. Let that cool. Ooh. Okay, let's put that there. Let's put these guys here for now. Let's bring out the lamb, right? Ooh. Sorry about that, gang. Yeah, when you only cook for one. No, I want to now. I want to cook.
So I'm going to cook up lamb shank. Okay. I got four lamb shanks. Okay. And this is local lamb that we bought. And it's really good. It's, uh, it's a good butcher. It's a very good butcher. Okay. Let's put the lentils away. I'm gonna need that stuff. I'm gonna give this, these guys a rinse and clear up. Uh, oh, I better turn this on. I turn it off. Make sure the sink is clear, right? Sink. Again, salut. Cornelian cherry liqueur is absolutely phenomenal. So good. So good. Really. Wow, wow, wow. So happy that we found the tree. Right? So happy. Oh yeah, let me show you the Cornelian cherry jam. Made a handful of these. I took some pics and I'll show you guys, uh, you know, how many we ended up making and how much Cornelian cherries we used up. Really good. I assume you will be cutting the shank down. I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna cook it, cook it enough that the meat can come off, right? And then I'm gonna take the meat off the bones and we're going to layer the pans with it. Cool. You can throw some onions as well if you want. I might. Your onions look like uh, mild eggs. Oh yeah, they do too. Let's throw this in there. Let it just sizzle a little bit, right? I'm gonna add salt to it, but that's it. I'm not adding any other spices to this. They're gonna be soft and sweet, soft and sweet. The onions or these guys? The lambs. Sweet? I don't know if they'll be sweet. Let's throw something. And I'm going to put some water on here as well, by the way. and close the lid speedy Gonzalez style. Right. Actually, instead of turning water in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some of the lentil broth in there, right? A cup of lentil broth. The lamb, the lamb, it's gonna be nice. Let it cook. So I have the lamb at around five right now, okay? Let it cook, I might throw a little bit more lentil. Since half a year, I'm trying to avoid salt in my dishes. I'm uh, salting at the end and I find that a lot, lot better and since I'm eating a lot less. Yeah, usually you wouldn't be salting the meat anyway, I don't think right away but i i do want it uh i did want it to be salted right away okay. let's cut up the onions i love salt too much coolio i personally have cut back a lot
open. Uh, if you want to salt while the meat is raw, you would let it uh, rest until it was room temperature, then salt it, then cook it. Okay, thanks for the advice, Graham. My salt levels are off the chart at the moment. <laughs> what is uh, cr what is a critting critting critting? I can't. For some reason, I have a hard time when I hear it. I know what it is, but spelling it critting critting. Let it cook nicely. Creatine, creatine, thank you, Anakin. I always forget creatine. Recipe, recipe. Okay, our onions chopped up. That's good. And we don't need, do I need this for anything else? I think I have enough flatbread to cover the casserole dishes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the casserole dishes right now. And if I don't have enough flatbread to cover the bottom of the casserole dishes, I might cut up some potatoes to put in there. I'm going to go in that because I find that my dad was salting too much. Yeah, he was salting through the cooking process and at the end, so I decided to don't uh, put salt in the process like that it's contains a lot less salt yeah and you if you do it uh, constantly you lose track of how much you've put in there right so let's take the onions away let's throw these guys here let's bring out the dishes oh we lost this guy That's the meat uh, container, right? Hello, Q Lil. Let's let it cook. Actually, I might give it a little spin. up the temperature on this I'm kicking it up to seven okay we'll put that there let's bring out the casserole dishes okay. I had some flatbread so because I knew I wasn't gonna get to it for a few days the cooking stream uh, I froze it I like what you said 10 minutes ago. Sorry, I couldn't comment until I passed the 10 minute uh, timer for a new follower. Thank you for following about the reactionist. Is this information, uh, is this information agreed on scientifically or from your experience? Um, how so scientifically? How so scientifically? Salute. For example, now even salt and pasta water, I like it too salty. I find that my body is reacting better to non salt dishes. Yeah, I know a lot of people put salt in pasta when they cook it, the water. I, I don't. One of the reasons I think they do that is to, so the pasta doesn't stick together. I don't in general. I do sometimes. Let's see, what do we got? So I'm just gonna approximate this, make sure we have enough. So if I don't need to break apart any uh, potatoes, I won't. Oh yeah, we got enough flatbread. And let's see. I'm gonna make two casserole dishes most likely. Okay. So let's put that there. So that's one. Let's put that back in the oven. 
this one as well. No, the salt is for flavoring the pasta noodles. You put a little oil in it to keep it from uh, sticking. Is that what it is? Legendary Rob Boss? Put a little oil in the water. Okay. Let's check this out. Be enough. Be enough. Was my estimates enough? Oh, almost. 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 It could be enough. It's probably enough. Good enough. Good enough. Put the bag there. Clean it up. but you don't need to if you apply some oil to the noodles right after draining yeah usually after draining I dump the uh, dump the pasta in a drainer and then run cold water through it and then put it in a bowl and add oil and then mix it all up right you're putting olive oil in the water too cool nice we're just gonna let this cook now we don't need to cut up anything else this is going. We're going to start cooking up here too. This guy here. Now, let's bring the other pot over. Uh, let's cook up the rice. Cornelian and cherry is super delicious, gang. Very nice. So this is, we're gonna put two cups of rice that's been soaked overnight in this, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these, this meat container in the dishwasher. Yeah, the lamb is nicely cooking, so we're just gonna let it cook. I'm gonna close this guy. Now, let's bring out the rice. Let's bring out the rice. Here's the rice, right? So I'm just gonna drain this water and then pour the rice in here. And I'm gonna turn this up. I'm actually gonna kick this up to get it up fast. I'm kicking it up to high. Get it almost to boiling level. I love the sound of boiling water or simmering in general, yeah. Especially when I don't have to worry about the mining it lovely. <laughs> for me, for perfect rice is one cup of rice, 1.5 cup to two cups of water. Depends if uh, you soak it or not. Depends if you soak it or not. For me, I always eyeball it. If I have too much, I just dump the water out, right? And I don't cook, we're not gonna cook the rice to a level where it's really soft, because again, it's gonna go into the oven as well, right? So it's gonna cook for another 45 minutes in the oven, okay? So it's it's a two-step process. The lentils, we, didn't, we cooked all the way, they're done, but to become mushy, you would have to cook them more, right? White rice or brown rice, or white rice. Basmati rice, white basmati rice. We'll let this guy boil a little bit. This is a really chill dish to cook, by the way, gang. I mean, half guy, but I soak it first. El Dante rice. El Dante rice, El Dante rice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Elder God. Brown rice is, is white rice with a jacket. <laughs> white rice has been processed, right? Brown rice, better for you, of course. 
right? Hey gang, Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's well. I'm actually making some dinner right now, right on. What are you making, Twitching Jason? Uh, Persian <laughs> rice lentil dish <laughs> with lamb. <laughs> what fun. Yeah, let this thing boil. Two cups of rice. I got some tea here as well, by the way. The sun is coming out in my part of the world. Look at that. Look at that. Should I show you my detour tree? I'm going to roll, uh, bring over my detour tree so you see it. Never had lamb. What does it taste like? Uh, if you cook it right, it tastes like red meat. If you don't cook it right, it tastes like lamby. Right? Fajita steak along, oh, along with some rice. Fajita steak. Something kind of quick, okay. Hey, Chicho, hope you're good. Any plans for Halloween? Halloween, we're going to do comic book readings. Comic book readings. I'll just bring it to there that's my detour tree that I grew from seed about 18 years ago 18 years ago yeah it's awesome seriously very happy with this baby this thing at the beginning of spring okay it was about here and it just grew this much this year this summer i cut it back every now and then right it grows and then you cut it back grows cut it back right so it's it's gone to here before but then during the winter time you know you can trim it down a little bit and stuff like this but this year this thing was super happy super happy fajita fajita that's right fajita fajita basically flank of um, skirt steak okay nice let it cook let it cook let's see how this guy's doing this guy's hot enough to put the rice in right so let's put the rice in And I'm going to turn down the temperature on it, by the way. And to get all this rice that's stuck on there, you just put some water and swish it around. It comes out. Right? So I'm going to kick this down. I'm going to use my lentil spoon. Give it a little whirl. I did chicken fajitas for today's lunch. It was pretty damn good, nice. The Tura, like thorn apple, jimson weed. Uh, angel's trumpet. But this one is actually true the Tura, it goes up. The flowers come up, they don't hang. So it's from the same thing as the uh, angel's trumpet uh, family. I'm now eating rice, tuna steak, nice. Not can. And boiled egg, nice macro oh hold on let me put the rest of the rice in here if i continue re reading stuff with this you just whirl it around the water picks up the rice and it goes okay. nice and the lid on this let's put the lid on this and this thing's sitting at around five right now. Okay, uh, very cool. My dad is a botanist and we have a botanical garden on our property. However, a problem with many food-based plants can be uh, gnats, little fruit flies in the home. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got a little bit of fruit flies here. Uh, we manage them, we manage them. Go 
cook away, cook away, cook away, cook away. I'm gonna put some more. Um, what do you call it? Some more lentil juice in there. Okay. Chicho, what type of pan do you use? Uh, tef no, no Teflon. No, no, no. Miro, no Teflon pans. Okay. Ceramic pans, uh, granite pans, some other that I don't mention. Um, cast iron we have. We're going to cook up the raisins and the dates in cast iron. And these are, I believe, uh, steel steel pans. Like, uh, I can't lift it up right now because it's hot to read it. Stainless steel pans, I believe. Been watching a lot of your food streams, Twitching Dates, and says on YouTube lately, Chicho. Do you have any fall breakfast suggestions? I just got some apple butter um, the other day. Apple butter is fantastic. Fall, um, you know what? Right now, my breakfast is is usually a pretty power. I do, I do. My main bra breakfast routine is every week, every second week or so, I do pancakes. I do eggs. Uh, I do mainly my cereals, yogurt cereals that you guys have seen me eat. I today I did with pomegranates. We had some pomegranates, right? So yogurt, pomegranates, uh, fruits, nuts, walnuts in there, uh, hemp hearts in there, a little bit of maple syrup if I want it to be sweet with yogurt, and some corn flakes type of thing, right? Super good. Pancakes of philosophy, eggs. How are you doing? pancakes of philosophy that was our first cooking stream by the way philosophy and pancakes we got to do more of that we do philosophy and pancakes planning on picking up some uh, pomegranates soon to eat with yogurt in the morning nice twitching jason love cast iron. cast iron is amazing cast iron amazing it's heavy so you know be careful do you bake yeah I know how to bake Miro. We haven't done any baking streams yet, but I do know how to bake. Persian food is delicious. It is, it is. Micro twist. Persian food is amazing. Hello, Chef Chicho. Hello. Savat. Svati growl. <laughs> Macro pankia. One, two, three. Have you ever tried Oso Boko? It is an Italian dish that consists of veal shank, veal shank, in a rice marinated marinade. My favorite part is the bone marrow oh, in uh, that shank that you uh, can surf up, and it has so much flavor. Also, it's a great uh, post-workout meal. Yeah, uh, lamb shank or just any type of meat that has bone marrow when you cook it up, and it just becomes like a globally like it's like gelatiny phenomenal on bread i like that with on bread just use it as put it on bread and you eat oh so good fruits in the morning equals best start for a wonderful day yeah i usually i'm usually eating fruits in the morning it just suits me well yeah i want to give those yogurt cereals you make a, a um, go saw the stream from a few months ago on the patio and you gave me some uh, inspiration awesome to change this it's super good i and yogurt is amazing for the tummy gang right yogurt is super good for the tummy right so good for the tummy a fellow gym beast you need the bone marrow i'm gonna move the detour back just in case we need access to the fridge right i don't think we do anymore but Gotta take care of them. Arrange them in the right place. Yes. Now what we're gonna do, let's see how the rice is doing. First order of business. Let's bring this here. We don't want to burn our hands. Master, okay. Just give it a swirl, make sure it's not sticking in the bottom. You don't want to burn rice. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this temperature up. Kick it up, kick it up. This thing's steaming nicely. Good, good. Still needs to cook for a while. The lamb. Nice and chill. Right, nice and chill. Cornelian cherry liqueur. Oh, nice. On the rocks. Very delicious. We actually need access to the freezer. We need more ice. Because I'm going to pour myself a refill. Trust me, Chicho. Oso Boko is so, so good. When I went back to visit some family in Lazia, a province in Italy, they were they made it so great. I can spend send the recipe in Discord. Oh, for sure, do it for us. For sure, macro. Post your recipe on our Discord, hundred percent. That'd be awesome. That shit, what is it? And usually you want to, for lambs, anything with bones and stuff, I cook them for a while. Bring this MP123. I'm going to top up our Cornelian cherry. Link is having issues. Oh my god, I'm jealous by your drink. You can make it, fan Jason Bond. I don't know where you get Cornelian cherries aside from picking them yourself, but uh, fantastic. George, best 3D. How long did you uh, did it take to make the cherry liqueur? Cherry liqueur, I say give it about four weeks, right. Probably tastes good within two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. The flavor is really coming in. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna check the rice. No, still needs a little bit more to go. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Rinse it. The lentil juice looks great. Nice. Let it cook. Let it cook. Easy peasy, right? Here, we'll give this a rinse too. Let's put that there. We'll bring out the metal. Actually, we don't put this little metal. We'll put these guys like this. I just set up the sink so when the rice is ready I can just do the flip right drain it I have never saw a Cornelian cherry where I live so I don't know yeah the Cornelian cherry tree yeah oh Cornelian cherry the they're different than cherries they grow like cherries but they're different they're very tart uh, and they're not around too often I was just lucky here um, I was on one of my walks and all of a sudden it was fruiting like three, two years ago. And I was like, wait a second, that's Cornelian, Cornelian cherries. And I was like, oh, snap, right? Pop is closed, oh my God. Everyone went home early. Maybe they forgot to change their watches. Oh, really? 
Hold on, you're eight hours ahead. Ooh, this thing's. Oh, be careful with rice; it bubbles up and spills over, right? That's why with rice you gotta stick around. Nice, we caught it before. We had too much, too big of a mess to clean. Right? Okay. Now I gotta have taste the rice. I don't want it to be too cooked. Okay. All I need is one grain. Check that out. Just one grain. No, a little bit more. Now we're gonna wash my hands. Let's take this out of the thing. And now I don't put the lid on the rice. It's just gonna cook for a little bit longer, so I don't need it to be pressurized at all. I have a colleague that is uh, Persian, and whenever he is feeling down, I give him dates. <laughs> nice. I give him dates and cheese. Dates and cheese, amazing together, right? Salt also slows the cooking process. The salt slows the cooking process. Really, Elder God? I didn't know that. Next time, maybe I won't salt. So I've reduced the, uh, the amount of times I'm salting meat before I cook it, so... What type of rice you show? Uh, basmati long grain rice. Basmati long grain rice. I bought I, I bought a gigantic bag from the Persian store. Like, I think 40, 20 kilograms or something. A <laughs> pandemic rice, lockdown rice. <laughs> we got enough rice to eat for a year, man. <laughs> Salute, gang. Cornelian cherry liqueur. only when the cook food is cooked in water so hold on salt also slows the cooking process only when the food is cooked in water ah okay not marinating the food with salt when you add salt to the water when you're cooking it i have become a master of food science nice elder god running a pub you gotta be nice nice Nice, getting a little darker. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Nice, let it cook. Yummy, yum. I love basmati rice. Yeah, me too. Me too. What's your favorite food? Oh man, I got so many favorite foods. Beef stroganoff is one of my favorite. We'll make it one day. I love rice. I'm uh, I'm saying for rice, 20 kilogram in my basement is waiting for me. <laughs> you have to, right? Is that lamb? It is lamb. Lamb shank. Lamb shank. It's slower because salt water has a higher temperature boiling point. Oh, is that what? That's what it is. Fan James Bond. That's what it is. What are you cooking here? Nice. Just had beef stroganoff last night. So good. Oh, chase beef stroganoff. Yeah, man, I'm craving beef stroganoff. And we uh, we make our beef stroganoff with uh, fries, French fries. Like, and it's really easy to make. You use cream, onions, cream. Uh, meat right uh sort of stewing meat oh i forgot about the rice i gotta take care of the rice man oh man talking about food got me all excited this should be ready yep i'm gonna drain this baby Here, 
let's turn this off. I'm gonna give it a rinse. I gotta do it twice because my strainer is. Here's the one batch of it. I'm just gonna pour out the what do you call it? Let's see this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna pour a little bit of more lentil juice in there. This angle down so you see what I'm doing here let's check this out that one that one it is and that one I took down the wrong one. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Let's bring this guy back up and take down this one. But well, we don't need to take down this one anymore anyway. Doink. I was doing the work over there. <laughs> Alright folks, I'm going to eat. Twitching Jason, enjoy. Hope you have a, a good rest of the stream. And hope everyone has an awesome weekend. You too. You should uh, try sweetest sausages. Stroganoff. Oh, sweetest sausages. Stroganoff. done now all we got to do is wait for the lamb right but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna bring uh, the casserole dishes out and put them here and put oil and soak the bread and then when the meat is ready chop up the meat and put it in there okay I just realized the spice rack I got to respect the man that keeps the spice rack in his kitchen <laughs> this guy this stuff here we got we got a few we got spices here we got spices there we got jams and stuff here and the, and spices in here and a lot some of these spices are just uh herbs that we grew right like the mint and the rosemary mint and rosemary I use a lot and it's uh, it's our own mint and rosemary right yes you gotta know how to cook game I don't know I don't care who you are learn how to cook okay learn how to feed yourself not extravagant gourmet if you want to go that level for sure but even the simplest thing learn how to be able to feed yourself rely on bay, yeah, bay leaves for sure whenever I cook I love the thyme, yeah, thyme, thyme and cumin for dishes for sure. We got those as well. We got a fair bit. We got spices in the drawers. Too many spices, tell you the truth. Salute, gang. 
Nice. I'm just going to put this guy in the sink for now. Give it a rinse. There, I'll fill it up that way. The starchiness of the, the rice gets soaked so it's easy to clean. More, more. Just put this here and I'll balance the casserole dish on it. Let me turn on the camera so you see what I'm doing. Wow, it reduces a lot when you see the bones now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Macro Chicho, if you ever swing by Toronto, you should hit up a great Italian place in the suburbs uh, owned by a friend of mine. His name is Antonio uh, Lolino and brother the food is godly if you like various pasta dishes and great meats you'll be you'll be having awesome if i if i go man i'll probably announce it and if you see see it please send me a reminder i've i've eaten i lived in toronto a couple of summers and i lived in that, in that area for like five years five and a half years ontario uh toronto area and stuff like this phenomenal food there Toronto got, Toronto's got amazing food. Hey Chicho, what liqueur would you recommend to do as the very first? I would say uh, strawberry is the easiest. Strawberry takes about two to three weeks when it's delicious. Uh, and majority of people like uh, strawberry flavor. Strawberry and cherry. If you can get blackberries, fresh blackberries that you pick, blackberry is really good too. Sarge the one and only Sarge how are you doing I use uh, I also use Cajun powder whenever I make seafood like salmon and uh, tal tilapia cool 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 and James Bond wow they reduce da, da, da. yeah I read that one mr. Chicho where can I find the rack reactionist article online I I don't know uh, it's just I don't know uh, it's just something that I've learned reactionary like people become reactionary to things right you can poke them and they react constantly once you once you poke someone they react negatively you can direct them any which way you want right hence hurting right actually I want to know as well I don't think I've written an article on reactionaries Beastwood 95 thank you for the twitch prime sub I know personally I also know about the boiling point oh very nice where about were you I li I went to University of Waterloo uh, macro I lived in uh, I went to University of Waterloo I lived in uh, downtown uh, Shelburne, uh, Shelburne and Blur I think it's Blur and Shelburne like score in downtown Toronto for four months at one point doing a co-op term and i lived in markham for another four months that's in the toronto area and aside from that i was living in waterloo so i was going to toronto a lot korean food in toronto is phenomenal greek food is really good too covid is a reactionary stick of 2020 <laughs> funny nice more it needs to cook a little bit more so I'm gonna add a little bit of more lentil juice on there too where's my lentil juice loader upper I should have probably loaded up the whole thing early on right so I didn't plan this out well right I should have as soon as I put the lamb in, I should have raised it up enough water for it to cook nicely, right? So let me bring out the the trays, the casserole trays, trays. 
So these are nice and soft now. They came out of the freezer, so nice and soft. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put oil in it, and I'm going to layer these things under it, right? Macro, yes. Very nice areas to be in. Um, nice mix of urban and rural for sure. Are you familiar with the Vaughn uh, Woodbridge area? I believe so. I believe so. We did a lot of for one summer, actually two summers. We did tons of barbecues all over Toronto. I make shish kebabs and I go, we go do barbecues on Sunday and I would eat shish kebab for like three or four days, three days. Uh, it was super nice. I like Toronto. Toronto was fun. Okay, speaking of Greek food, have you ever tried? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Spanakopita or uh, past, uh, Pasticcio. Spanakopita for sure. Uh, nice to know you don't know because there is no information about it online uh, look up reactionary like what does the word reactionary mean to you someone who constantly reacts to something right uh, that's the way I use it we're allowed to come up with our own definitions of words I guess or the way we end up using them right check it out I don't know Quill, quillin right check it out so let's do this one You sort of want to fill in the gaps on it, right? Let's check it out. And let's put up another long one here. Let's put one here too. Okay. So that's that. I want to add a little bit more oil to this too. Do you have the same olive oil pot? The bottom, man, you want oily. Really, you want oily. Amazing flavor, right? Oh, yum, Cheryl says, Spanish pita. Yep, get in there. Basically, what I'm doing with the fork, I'm seeing if I can break the meat, right? If you can break the meat, it's done. And then what we're going to do is just cut it up in here. Okay. Let's cook it more. Yep, Toronto is a great place to live. I'll miss, I'll miss it. Um, I'm moving to Colorado. Oh, wow. To live with my girlfriend. Once COVID clears up, we're going to oh, Colorado, different world. I've been to Denver a couple of times. Beautiful city, by the way anyway nice to be here wish you the best you too you too found a few articles on it but i need to vet them before i can link yeah i haven't i haven't read the articles and reaction i, I think it just became a part of my vocabulary all right oh we gotta do the other the other casserole dish The other casserole dish. Here. Let's put these guys here. Put oil on the bottom. That's a lot of oil. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn up, make sure there's nothing extra in there. I'm turning up. Um, the oven I'm gonna put it to 400 actually let's kick it to from now on we're cooking at 420 let's cook it at 420 why not
just saved enough. Awesome. Now. What we're going to do, we're going to start cutting up the lamb. Sure, oh, delicious. Mention cheesecake and an espresso for baklava. Oh man, we make the best baklava. We used to have a farmer's market, we sold baklava. We'd sell out every time. Turkish coffee, oh, Turkish coffee. Depending on where you're eating, is heaven. We'll, we'll do baking at some point, gang, for sure. Have you tried South African food as well? There's a drink at the local South African store called uh, Appletizer. It's pretty much Canada dry with a beautiful summer apple hint. Oh, no, I've never tried. I'm using for oil for every dish I'm making. In the country of butter, I'm different. <laughs> Hi, chat. Looks good, Chicho. Looks great. Smells really good, actually. It smells fantastic. Visiting South Africa is on my list. I need some cape of uh, good hope right now. Wait a second, Chicho. Are you Greek or Persian? Uh, Armenian. <laughs> Armenian Persian. Armenian Persian Canadian. Uh, but uh, baklava is uh, Middle East. They they cook a lot. The what do you call it? The Arab world cooks a, cooks a lot of baklava. Okay, we're turning this guy off. Let's bring it over. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it or a little bit of because the bottom is a little burnt on this <laughs> so we're gonna cut up the meat and layer the bottom uh, I'm Italian similar called similar cultures very much similar cultures right very much similar cultures but we don't dress all black <laughs> I went to Milan from the northern the northern Italy in Milan everybody was dressed in black it was crazy it was weird everybody dressed in black <coughs> Greek Persian would be a great per, uh, person to be a philosopher you should try Brazilian food there's very good one called pamanho pam pamanha which is made from corn Search later, okay. Link us up, uh, Dan uh, okay. Link us up on our Discord page if you can. Okay, let's bring this up. Let's see. this on a tray and cut it there I'm limited with space a little bit so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna layer this thing put it on the bottom of the of the pan right Another thing that goes really good with this is uh, ribs. If you put ribs in the bottom, fatty ribs. Oh my, so good, so good. Now, if I cook this a little bit more, the meat would come off a lot easier, right? But it's okay. We we'll do this like this right now. Oh, this is so good. down a little bit so you can see
just distribute it in the bottom of the pan, right? Oh, the bottom is amazing. Sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat, gang. I want to get this part done. this we're gonna eat for a couple of days <laughs> with your bare hands if it wasn't hot I would but it's hot meat to lay it on the next one as well right so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put this over here let's put these guys in here rest them here I'm gonna mix up the lentils with um, with the rice okay so let me do it this way let's, put this guy here. let's transfer this guy here I'll show you what I'm doing do want to do though is I want to take some of the sauce at the bottom here I don't know if you can see it take a look there's some oil just the fat of the lamb in there I want to pour it a little bit the bottom of the thing actually maybe I'll pour it on no no I'll pour it on bottom Sort of the gravy. Oh, that one looks amazing. Just give it that flavor. Right? I'm gonna pop that one, really. Now this guy's like looking at me like mad, right? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Mm. so good so good okay let me show you what I'm gonna about to do I'll put this guy here so that way I can put this guy on top okay so is this gonna work yeah sure so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the lentils mix it in here mix it lentil and rice and layer it on top of I need another. That was really good. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> that was phenomenal. <laughs> that was. Hey, this. Looking for this guy. cook the rice uh, too much where if you do this because rice can be fragile right when you do this the rice doesn't break apart right and I've heard that when you're cooking lentils uh, or beans you can put a little bit of seaweed when you're cooking with them and that reduces the amount of gas you get there are Persians, uh, Fan James Bond, 
Persians, this is the way you cook. Uh, like this is Persian style of rice, where you cook it al dente, someone mentioned, and then you put it in the oven. Okay. So this is a fair bit. So what I'm going to do right now is transfer this here and start layering not even layering some people layer the rice they put rice in and then they put the lentil layer of lentils and when then when you're pouring it it mixes all together right but for me I'm just gonna mix it and pour it on top And the ratio of rice to, uh, what do you call it, uh, to lentils is up to you. Like this is lentil heavy right now. Okay. And this should be enough for the other tray. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is put foil on top of this and put this in the oven. Okay. And the temperature of the, in the oven is 400 right now. When you hear a beep, it's gonna be 420. And you want to give it a seal, nice seal, right? And I'm going to put the timer on here. 45 minutes. Okay. Timer. 45 minutes. And we're going to throw it in. Let's do the next one. The crinkle of aluminum. In, oh, the crinkle of aluminum. Is that what uh, you're going on? Argon? Alder got? Okay, let's put this guy here. Yeah, let's put it back here. And then we'll break up the meat for the second platter, right? Oh yeah, I ate, I used the fourth eat. So we need a new fork. That was loud. Was it loud? Really? Oh. The mic must be picking it up. Oh, you know what I'll do then? Uh, I'll move over. What do you call it? When I do the next one. This one, I'll do it over there. Changing topic, Chicho. Are you a Batman fan? Uh, sure, I like insane multi-billionaires. Batman is totally insane, of course, right? <laughs> as long as they're not coming after me, I'm totally okay with them doing within reason what they want to do. But for sure, Batman is a fun character. Aluminum. <laughs> yeah, Batman's super fun, man. There's some amazing Batman stories out there. Right. One of the best ones we did the reading for, for the first issue, right? Batman Legend of the Dark Knight, issue number, the Venom story arc. It was so good. That's one of the best story arcs of uh, Batman. So good. Oh, look at this skin. I gotta pop this one too. Must be done. 
where's my fork I used to eat? Well, we're making another one dirty. Look at this. <laughs> that looks so good. Look at that. It's so nice. Mmm. Phenomenal. And the salt content is really good. Yeah, your first ever, that's right, the Batman reading. Four twenty gang. Okay, now we're gonna go in there with our hands. It's cool enough to be able to cut it. shank is amazing absolutely love lamb shank it's just the right combination of meat and fat heavy might make uh, broth with these actually oh, look at this look at that goodness oh my Has that sticky sticky feel to it look at the bone marrow see that <laughs> Look at this greenness. Look at the stickiness of the hands. That's bone marrow. Phenomenal. Very good, very good. Okay, let's lay the meat in here. Yeah, these bones need to be picked on. Let's see, 
Is there anything large we can get out of this? Oh, look at this guy. doesn't want to break off. Nope. Doesn't want to break off. Oh my god. Look at this. <gasps> okay. I gotta take a bite out of this. So, I'm gonna put this guy here. Now this is going to be the bone I'm going to be eating, but I need to take this. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go on that later. Give our hands a wash. So good, so good, Elder God, so good, so good. So this guy can come here. Let's bring up this guy. Is this hot still? Ah, hot enough. I'm gonna bring up this guy. Okay, I'm gonna layer. Put the rice in this too. Add a little spillage. Let me bring out my spatula. Now this one you can't use water, you gotta use a spatula, right? to bring out the rice, get it all in. A little shy on the rice part on this one, but that's okay. Now what we're gonna do is cook up the side dish for this, right? As soon as I put this guy in. So the foil makes a lot of noise, eh? So it's 33 minutes. So this thing is going in 15 minutes later than the other one, right? I was gonna think of Shakur Belly. Much love from Cuba. Ah, lots of love right back. Cuba has some amazing food, by the way. Cuba has some phenomenal food, right? Boop. Let's do this here. Okay, hopefully this is not going to be too loud for you guys. Click. 
Thanks, Elder God. So the one on the right, 15 minutes later. Now what we're gonna do is cook up the side dish for this, right? So I'm gonna keep this one open. I'm gonna take down this video. Which one is it? E no, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna take down this one. There, okay. We're done with this guy. Now what we wanna do is Put some oil in this, throw in the onions, caramelize a little, cook them before we put in the dates and stuff, right? And we need to cook the onions for a little bit of time, right? We need a lid. Let's turn this on. I'm putting on five right now. I'm just going to give this area a little wipe, get rid of our dirty stuff, a little mess we made. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna clear up the sink, okay? Because we need it cleared up. No worries, Sakun Belly. Thank you for uh, understanding. Salute, gang. Cornelian cherries. I'm gonna give the pan a quick wash, okay? Clean as we go. Salute, 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 gang. One more. I think I might need more ice. Might need another drink. So let's bring over the onions. Throw the onions in there. This is gonna go. No, oh, not that bad. Okay, 
I'm kicking this up to six. Okay. Let's give this a wash. Cigar, brother. Good luck, homie. Thanks. Whiskey on the rocks. Nice. What type of whiskey? Jameson's? Yes, yeah, Cheryl. So much better, eh? Cleaning as we go. It's just... Uh, you just en end up enjoying the food at the end. I'm going to transfer the bones into... Uh, a container. Will those fit in there? Mm. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I need a container, a bigger container. What are we going to put it into? Will those fit? They might fit. I'm going to try one. Crown Royal Apple. A must try. I've never tried the apple. I've drank Crown Royal for sure. Evening. Sea Death 420. How you doing? We're doing some cooking on 420. Let's see if you can put the meat in this. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Mm, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. I'm gonna put it. We have some food that we made. It's all in the. We using. We've used up the containers we have. Oh yes, that stuff is great. Mixes well with everything too. The Crown Royal. Check uh, it out. No, that's not gonna work. Let's try this guy. Let's try this guy. Is that gonna work? Yep. There we go. All right. Let's put this here. And okay. Now this is delicious. And we need to zap it. If I had some wine, I'd uh, red wine. Actually, I don't have any red wine right now in the fridge. If I had some, I'd grab it and pour it in here and heat up the pan a little bit. A buddy of mine drinks it with Coke. Oi! We give him a shit for that. Sorry. Oh, look at this. This needs to be eaten by Chicho right now. So good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I gotta give the onions a little mix. Oh two spoons working on this thing. Okay, we need to mix up the onions. That was a lamb. Bear, gerber. That was a leftover from the lamb. The sauce at the bottom. Let's put that here. Boom. 
basically it's like little meaty bits and fat of the lamb, right? Very delicious. Mm. Very yummy. Okay, this goes in the sink with hot water on it. That was super good. Let's put some hot water on it. Jiggy jiggy on deck. Let's put the lid on this. We put this guy here. We can leave that out. I'll hit up bone later, the one I've been munching on. This is a fair bit of onions actually, so I might not use it all. We'll see after we reduce this guy. Salute gang. From the lentils we cooked, we have this much left over. I'm just gonna transfer this into a container and put it in the fridge and use it up later. Okay. Lentil salad, amazing. Lentils, chop up onions, sort of uh, chopped onions, like uh, smaller than what we had uh, with the with the dates, and pickles. So onions, pickles, and lentils. Mix it all together. Lemon juice on top, a little bit, not too much salt. Phenomenal. I hate going to someone's house for biz deal and their wife is growing onions and not cooking anything else. Browning onions and not cooking anything else. You could brown onions and keep them for a while, right? But yeah, if you're cooking them, make something else. Throw some meat in there. Let's put this guy. Is this hot? No, let's cool down. Let's put this guy in this. It's an old trick, browning. They do it to make you feel at home and at ease. So you sign the deal. Are you serious? See that 420? Is that what they do? The smell of browning onions? Really? Totally serious. What? <laughs> I didn't know that. Hypnosis, eh? I probably cook them the whole meal. Like, good thing I rarely ever sign anything. I don't sign anything. Funny story. My dad sliced his arm a couple of years ago, and we didn't have a uh, H2O2, so he poured a hard Italian liquor called. Uh, Sambuca, oh, Sambuca on his arm. Sambuca is nice. Never have a her heard a, a man squeal like that. <laughs> oh, funny. See that next time you go to sign a lease or something and you smell onions, beware. Okay, will do. 420, thank you. Never, never even heard of it, anything like that. But it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Aromatherapy, right? Or aroma hypnosis. Lentils. So this is how much we got left. Right? Nice. We can make a little salad with that. 
Cheryl, that's 420. I have friends in real estate that bake cookies on cinnamon bread before an open house for a similar reason. Wow, wow, wow. Beware, beware cookies. I'm going to pour some more oil on this. You want the side dish to be oily. Okay. Wow, it's used all over. Aroma hypnosis. We invented it here. Aroma hypnosis. <laughs> I don't know, we invented it. We used it. Sambuca for babies. I drink it before bed. Drink Cuban liqueur. You turn it into a real manchicho. Grow some muscles. Food smell manipulation. Food smell manipulation. Indeed. Salute. More rice. More drink. We got 15 minutes left. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the good times. I hope you're having good snacks. <sighs> Cornelian cherry liqueur. Salute. see how our onions are doing there is a love potion <laughs> I'm gonna kick the temperature down on this now usually I wouldn't cook it so fast but we need to right now By the way, gang, I let the liqueur video from yesterday loose on BitChute and YouTube, okay? So that's up yesterday's live stream. Let's face it, that assignment wasn't that important. I want to go on for 10 minutes, but I must stay until the end. <laughs> yeah, Elder God, hand on sword. Indeed, indeed. Little lean way, little lean way is okay. The people you give an inch and they take a mile keep them away right but uh, you can do your assignment brother uh marco for sure do your assignment enjoy the sounds of food one thing we used to do when we were kids if we had homework and stuff sometimes uh when mom was cooking we just go sit down and do the homework in the kitchen right why not it's not like the homework was very engaging it was more monkey see monkey do so be entertained okay awesome marco thank you for the offer My hands are pretty clean now, so I'm also, it's a chill stream on any other day. Cool. Now, let that cook a little bit. Now I'm going to take this lamb. And, um, 
No, we're gonna leave it alone right now. We're gonna leave it alone right now. We're gonna cook raisins, cinnamon, bring our cinnamon out. And there's our cinnamon. Now I think, I don't think I wanna use all these onions. That's a lot of onions. So I'm gonna pour a little bit into a tray. Once it cooks up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Fun. Salut. I think I'm gonna be hitting up the liqueur cabinet uh, for a few weeks and get my fill and then stop. Cheers, see death. Cheers, brother. Cheers, cheers indeed. let it reduce a little bit more I'm gonna check the tray I'm gonna check the dishes the casserole dishes let's check it out let's see where they're at what I do with the casserole dishes let me show you so I brought this out Now, I'm not gonna open up the foil. I just wanna check the bottom to see how the bread is doing, if it's getting crispy yet or not. I don't think it's ready yet. No, not yet. We're gonna let it sit, cook for a little bit longer. It might need another half an hour or so. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kick up the temperature on the stove to 450 because our job is pretty close to being done all we got to do is wait for this thing to cook how often do you hit up the liqueur cabinet normally with your selection I find it hard to not have a glass with dinner every single I don't do it every night Coolio I go through phases I'm a firm believer in uh, extremism and moderation right I go off on something and then I stop I don't do so the liqueur most likely I'll have some maybe every day for a week or so and then stop let the system you know recoup right pick Dean 06 how are you doing I'm kicking the temperature down on the onions down to about two. So we start off at six, kicked it down to around four, kicked it down to three, reduced it down to two. So I'm slowly reducing it, right? Extremism and moderation. I like that, Elder God. Yeah. That's sort of been my motto for a long time. Uh, if I go hardcore on something, I go hardcore on things in moderation. So I go hardcore, hardcore, pull back, right? Got my fill, thank you very much. If I need more, I know that whatever it is that I'm doing is around, uh, is gonna be there. I can do it later again, go hard again on that. So, it's worked for me. I don't know if it's, it'll work for everyone, tell you the truth, but it's kept me sane so far. This is great. Dates and onions going in. Dates and, sorry, dates and raisins going in. cinnamon okay. 
and I'm going to add a little bit more oil. And we're going to give it a mix. And we need a handle for this. So what you want to do with this is break it up so you don't have just one chunk of like dates coming in and whatnot. That's the oven reaching 420. Is it uh, Gen X life life model, Elder God? Yeah, this was a perfect amount actually, with the onions and the and the dates and raisins. Four twenty, yeah, buddy. Let's put these guys. Here. Let this cook a little bit more. Now you got to keep a close eye. Once you put the dates and the raisins in there, dates burn fast. So do raisins. So. Keep a close eye on it, okay? Pokemon? No. No, I've never played Pokemon. Onions, raisins, and they've never done that. What is it for? It's going to be for a side dish that we have with rice, lentils, and lamb that we're going to mix it in with. You can actually mix it in with any rice thing. It just mix it. It gives it a, it's a sweet side dish that you can just add to whatever you want if you like the flavor. Are you a car guy, Chicho? If so, what do you drive? I used to be into cars. Um, not anymore. I I lost it, right? Uh, I found other things to uh, to get passionate about. Um, but for me, uh, there are cars that I like, for sure. The different cars I've had, I've had a little car, I've had a CRX, I've had an RX-7, I've had a uh, Toyota 4 uh, Runner, and I've had Pathfinders. Fantastic. Perfect. I'm sorry if I didn't give you the full amount of, you know, how much of what I threw in, but it's sort of by taste. So mix it in. If you like a lot of cinnamon, add more cinnamon. I just sprinkle it on there, right? And this is basically done. Now the rice dish that we have is going to take a little bit of more time to be done. We are always so calm and happy. That's awesome. Mental health that I was searching for. I, I've gone through periods in my life where I was chaotic. I wasn't at peace and whatnot. And then you 
pick a battle that is worth fighting in your life. That is not going to take you out of the game. Right. Understand what the battle is. What, what you want to spend your time on. I'm turning this guy off. Okay. I'm turning it off. I'm putting on a lid. I'll give it a mix in about, you know, a few minutes, so the bottom doesn't stick. Okay. Macro, understandable. Maybe it's a young person thing. Plus, you need to have a lot of money. Plus, you need to have a lot of money. I've had friends that taken engines apart and whatnot. And yeah, when I was younger, I had a lot of friends that were into cars and stuff like this, and we loved it and whatnot. And then slowly, a car to me became, and I used to spend a lot of time in a car uh, when I didn't have my own place, when I had roommates, when I was living with family and stuff like this. I think that's one reason car becomes your second home because it was my second home. I would sleep in a car a lot. Uh, you know, if I would go to a party, if I go out on out, out in the night in the clubs and whatnot, you park the car somewhere where you know it's safe and no one's gonna bug you because at the end of the night you can't drive home. You go to the car, you sleep in the car. I would I go camping with my cars. I personally like cars that you can go camping in, right? So Pathfinder for me is amazing, right? Just sleep in the car. Punisher Max, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, best advice to get over a relationship. Uh, love the person still, right? Appreciate your time with them. Appreciate that you learned something from them and hopefully they learned something from you. And just consider it a chapter closed, but the story is not done, right? So whenever you watch movies, you know, a character, your hero or villain that you're into or whatever it is the the antagonist or the protagonist goes through a phase where they evolve to the next stage just consider that your evolution right now that, that's my advice and go slow don't jump from one relationship to another relationship uh, have some time alone for yourself okay so that's 45 minutes done i'm going to put another 20 minutes on here again because it's gonna most likely take another 20 minutes the bottom of the thing has to be crispy <laughs> nice hello <Elder> god <laughs> good job you had to take the guy out man he was he, he was he was poking he was poking he was poking hook poking that me done i don't know what he said but i know i know you did you, you did the right thing almost beat you oh right on cheryl right on i was right the master is a young man peace comes when you understand where the anger comes from yeah At the gang listen to what elder god says i was a right sob as a young man peace comes when you understand when the where the anger comes from and what you can do about it right really appreciate what elder god just said right understand your own rage understand what makes you what triggers you right once you understand that you're your own master you cannot empower someone to control you not always every now and then you'll falter and fall but you're gonna do it less and less macro like for example, just in regards to politics, economics, people are reactionary. They go, oh, this, da, 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 da. But understand the systems at play, right? And suppressing anger isn't a viable, it's not a viable strategy. You need to be able to deal with it properly. 100% agree, Coolio. But changing it into non-violent things is one way to handle it. It is the only way to handle it for now. Okay, I'm going to transfer this into a container. It's not a sauce, it's the side dish of the food we're about to eat. Meow! I like this advice. It's the kind of great advice that surfaces after eating a bunch of mushrooms as well. <laughs> indeed 
Indeed. Lots of wisdom in fungi. And as Bill Hicks say, I'm not deny I'm not promoting it, but I'm not denying it, right? Here's our paste. Dates, raisins, onions. <laughs> Coolio, I channel my anger at politicians. Bankers deserve a little, a little bit of a direction there. So do hardcore bureaucrats that do not believe they should be held accountable for crossing the wrong eyes and the wrong feet. Morally speaking, anyway. Fantastic. That's done. And usually with cast iron pans, after I'm done, I pour water on them and put it on the element that I've turned off and I just leave it alone. It becomes a lot easier to clean. And here's our paste. All right, fantastic. Macro chisel. I currently, uh, currently, lightly tutor a grade twelve student, a couple of years younger than me. He is currently in a math course that he isn't dying, uh, doing very well in. He is uh, retaking in next semester, so he could get into his university of choice. Any advice you think? I should give to him he wants to get into environmental biology um, advice if he had a hard time with grade 12 math he, he's probably missing some key factors in uh, uh, from previous years one of them would be the understanding of trigonometry right specifically the trigonometry is the ratio of the length of one side to the other side because trigonometry takes people out of the game right so once they understand that that the the whole thing is really just a coordinate system based on a unit circle okay the other one is exponentials if you didn't understand exponential functions and how to deal with exponentials logs would have destroyed him right so he has to get a better grasp on exponentials aside from that explain to him that it comes with time and he needs to do practice he really needs to do practice. Grade 12 is about taking what you understand and doing the work. Okay. It's not enough to say, oh, I get it. You need to do it. Okay. It that's you know one bit of advice I have. And tell him to relax with it. Don't consider mathematics his enemy. Consider a tool that he needs to learn, the most powerful tool. That he can uh, have in life really Oops, sorry game if that was loud I'm gonna check the bottom of this oh, getting there getting there you know what I'm gonna crack this open oh let me turn this on so you guys see it actually let me transfer this guy over I want to transfer this guy I'm gonna transfer this guy over here hmm. how do we do this with one hand let's do it this way oh, yeah, I'm gonna put this on top of this too that way the lid gets soaked in water and that's easier to clean as well so we're just gonna put this guy here and how hot is this Mm, yeah, that's okay. Here, we'll do it this way. Let's put this here. Because if I put the casserole dish on top of a hot plate, hot, uh, what do you call it, element, it'll burn the bottom, right? Let's take a look. Can you 
you see this? Nice. See that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this down again. I'm going to pour a little bit of oil on top. And I'm going to put this back in the oven with the foil off. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to give... The oil is going to sink down to the bottom and hopefully it's going to give the rice a nice crispy feel to it, right? So let's put this in. This one was a 15 minutes later, the second one we put in, right? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God, actually I prefer to hear the people. <laughs> Hours with punch through the bank. Sometimes you live with a person who makes you very mentally ill that you cannot leave. Yeah, for blaming you for situations that are not your fault or for discouraging you. Any advice in that case? Get out, right? And it's 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 on them. Little person, I, no, uh, Dan, uh, Dan Kit, um it, it is what it is I think we've we've all sort of to a certain degree dealt with it right either through family loved ones friends roommates whatever it might be in general people like there's people that go through anger right we all have if you haven't you've lost your heart right so understand someone else's anger but try to explain to them that just because they're angry at the world it doesn't give them the right to lash out on you right I've, I have that right I have people in my life that they're reactionary and they get angry and they lash out on me I'm like dude get a grip right now those are you know some people you can't draw out of your life right I really should be going now Chicho macro uh, thanks everybody for the great vibe hope you all have a great week and i'll definitely tune in the rest of you uh rest on you awesome macro and uh do your work do your homework uh thank you for popping in peace indeed apprentice how are you doing it was fun macro hope to see you back soon take care cheryl says coolio says to uh, dan Cass, get out if you can't get out if you can uh, you have to address them head on be as honest as possible it might be painful though it might be painful but it's the best right and it maybe will allow them to deal with their anger but oh, and if it is something that you are responsible for to a certain degree right you're you're triggering it ask them what it is that you did that might be triggering that thing right but you've got to rip those band-aids off eventually yeah apprentice i'm good chicho enjoying your stream as usual thank you how are you doing well thank you i'm gonna be munching on some uh, persian rice dish thank you chicho and coolio i will uh, i will try my best to get this fixed i believe uh like get out is better get out in general is better if they don't if they're lashing out a lot right take a look at this one I'm gonna lift this guy up good luck Coolio says. Nice. this one needs to go in there more but what I'm gonna do is ah no I'm gonna leave the foil on there still because that went in 15 minutes later good to see you again spiritual answers how are you doing welcome 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 Salute gang. To people who are angry, uh, may they find peace. Okay. Elder God says, your anger has nothing to do with me. What will satisfy your anger will never come from me or anyone else here. I'm afraid you must look, look, look for it elsewhere. End quote. can't wait 
fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's bring out the one we took the foil out on. Let's check it out. May need a little bit more time. We want it to be nice and crispy, right? Babylon 5 code uh, and one I often use. Is it a Babylon 5 code? Elder God? Awesome. The Three Stooges. Hello, hello. Doing well here, brother. Thank you. Oh, a little bit more. It needs more. The Oh, the lamb smell hit me very nice very nice chicho what is the dish you're making called does it have a name um uh, adas adas polo uh, we call it uh vospop in armenian we say vospop plov vosp is lentil plov is rice right vospop plov with lamb persians call it uh, adas polo uh, yeah <laughs> like I think that's what it's called. Gina, Chicho, will it be the same consistency as fried rice? No, different than fried rice. Fried rice is drier. This is, uh, it, it's, it's softer. It's not fried. It's steamed to a certain degree. But it's kept as consistency, right? Cheryl to thank it. That's a tough situation. I'll add that it's okay to process um, what they may say, but to take care not to lose your own perspective and truth, if that makes sense. Yeah, listen to Cheryl as well, right? Don't let their anger, uh, if I understood Cheryl correctly, don't let their anger and their poison, because they're, if, they're, if they're angry on that level, they're full of poison. Don't let their poison ruin your life. It will affect you. There's no doubt about it, right? Their poison will affect you. But if they're constantly spewing poison at you, cut them out. Just shut them out. Done. As long as you try to help them, right? Don't be angry at them. Don't yell at them. Don't lash out at them the way they're lashing out at you. Just say listen your poison is too powerful uh, I have no desire to be in the state of mind that you are uh, and whatever is triggering you you know obviously I can't help if you're constantly lashing out on me right and uh, good luck right you can tell them good luck with you should we eat some of this let's eat some of this it's eating time I'm going to turn uh, the temperature is down uh, the timer is down to three minutes It's 450 cooking at 450 right I'm going to take the foil off on the other one I'm going to add a little bit more oil on it the three stucho chicho I cooked chili beans once I just uh, say I needed new on <laughs> Let's take the foil out. Be careful taking the foil out. This is really hot, right? Now, let's do this. Oh yeah, this needs more. But, but, what we can definitely do is And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, rice in this with a little bit of lamb. Right? Take a look. Nice. Let's 
distribute that over this. And then we're gonna put some oil on this and put it back without the foil on top and let the bottom crisp up. Elder God says, you can also address the problem with the person you live with. But to understand others, you must first understand yourself. It's why most situations take time to be resolved. Cool. For me, dialogue is the better way. Thank you, everybody, for the advice. Yeah, dialogue, always the best way. Always the best way. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm not going to put all of it in there. Just a little, right? A little bit more. It's very pasty, so sticks. Right? <laughs> Agree with Elder God, Coolio says. 100% Cheryl says. And what happens is the lamb, it, the rice and the lentils and stuff suck in the juices of the lamb, right? Uh, to a certain degree. I, I haven't got had goat, milk, uh, goat meat too often. Mm. The meat is really good. very delicious oh and that's the timer we're gonna put another 15 minutes on this okay lamb is super delicious yeah the cat I totally agree about what you type sometimes we must take care of ourselves first and then take care of the next one yeah hmm very delicious. Mama would be proud. I could add a little salt. Like, if you recall, the salt I added at the beginning, that was it. I didn't add salt to the rice. I didn't add salt to the sweet thing that we made. Right? So it's very low on salt right now. But I do like it. And what you do you take some of the the pasty stuff the sweet stuff get a little meat in there get a little rice in there like this take a look Whoop. the meat's coming off falling off mm. very delicious guy very delicious ostrich meat I've never had the goat I've had has been a bit more strain but that was the cut cut but I know a local farmer who makes the best goat sausage really oh my god really good sure yeah ostrich jerky never had Gordon Ramsay would be screaming about your unseasoned rice. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon Ramsay. I think uh, I take advice from my elder, elder, elders in the family. Actually, they do, they do add salt as well, sometimes. But very delicious. Oh, I see. I had goat. It was stringy strong in order and taste my taste buds didn't like it yeah i've heard old goat can be very strong but that's one reason you use bay leaves and uh, rosemary and stuff ostrichburger are very lean ostrichburger really i like the richness of goat meat in uh, somali food oh yeah that's right somalis they use goat a lot goat stews 
Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really good. It's the European as well, I believe. I've only had gro goat and bira, a Mexican dish. And yes, it is very string. So it was stringy. Mm. This is super delicious. You could definitely use salt. Yeah, let's add salt. Let's check it out. It's super delicious. Yes. You got the little bit of sweet stuff, you got a little bit of lamb, and you got the rice and the lentils. Very yummy guy. Highly recommend this recipe. Mm-hmm. The last part of this we need to eat is the bread that's crisp. Right? <laughs> oh god, you drove with me. Transport. Teleported over, Elder God. Scotty, where are you? Mm. Super delicious, guy. And lentils and rice? Phenomenal together. Where's my favorite style of favorite style of spoon? Really nice. Look at this. All right. There's one problem with this dish. It's addictive. It is so addictive. You'll eat, you'll eat, and then you go, I want to eat more. And then you eat more, you eat more. I tend to overeat with this dish. Lentil and rice soup. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check the bread again, see if it's crispy. I want to show you guys. The cast, that meal looks wonderful. I only ate lamb in a restaurant till now. I will try to make a similar one at home. Awesome. I hope you like it. I hope it's good. And uh, the cast, I thought, I think you were from, you said you were Cuba or someone was from Cuba. Uh, Cubans eat a lot of lamb and pork, of course. I also made with woman at the bar. I didn't like it. She tasted like cigarettes. check this out let's see where this is at take a look see this nice and when you bring this out okay this is the thing with uh, oh the Cuban guy was decapitated I doubt it if it was Cuban I doubt very much if it was Cuban this dish when you cook it up when you bring it out you need to flip you need to flip the uh, the dish right um, to so the bread in the bottom doesn't uh, become soggy so a lot of people what they do is we bring out another another plate okay I'll show it to you let me do it because you, you don't want the the bread to be soggy you want it to be crispy and this is a Persian dish uh, uh, it's called the uh, Armenian we say Vospov Pulav it means lentils and rice and we do it with lamb okay here, I'm going to turn on this camera as well, so you see what it is I'm doing. So I just put a plate here. Usually you scrape off the rice and put it in a 
big dish and then put these crispy stuff on top, right? But since I'm not serving this to anyone, and what happens, take a look, the meat gets stuck on, take a look, the meat gets stuck on the, on the rice, right? On the bread, right? Take a look, like this. So that's exactly what you want. So you go through and grab all the little, the right, the bread at the bottom, and you flip it, and this is gold. This is gold, right? Nice. Some people would say this even needed more oil in the bottom. Ooh, be careful, be careful. Of course, you wouldn't set yourself up as sketchy as I am right now. You should have it on a flat surface. Look at this, very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, look at this. Here, let me flip this so you guys see it. Actually, I could probably put it off the pan now because the bottom element is not hot anymore. Right? And I'll munch on one of these so you see what it looks like. And apologies if I'm not reading chat, gang. I just want to take care of this because this needs to be flipped. Oh, look at that. Look at that goodness. This is what everyone fights over when you pour this dish. And everybody just gets one piece of these things, right? If there's any left over, then you can have more. Otherwise, that's what you get. So that's all the bread from this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this over. Uh, I'll put it over, where are we gonna put it? We're gonna put it over here. Actually, no, we're not gonna put it over there. That's too, too much. As you've seen, I'm limited with space here. So we do the best we can, right? Let's put that guy there. Let's put this guy there. Here. Here, we'll take this, put it here. Okay, take this guy, put them there, put that there. Take this, put it here. Nice. Now, we don't need this guy here anymore. What I am going to do though. Take a look. Take a look. See this? Like that, right? And the meat gets stuck on it. You get a little bit of rice. And then. <laughs> Phenomenal. You could have put some salt on this, by the way. So look at this. Here, we can put some salt on it. Usually in the cooking process, I should have put salt. Maybe I should have put a little bit of salt at the bottom when it was cooking. Okay, so keep that in mind. Take a look at this. 
This is what you're calling magic. See the meat is stuck to the rice, right? And then, right? Super good, super good. And that's the sound you want. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Right? <laughs> Let me turn off this thing. Oh no, we need this guy. We're gonna do more of this. Right? Ah, nice. Phenomenal. Very yummy. Oh man. So good. So good. Yeah, this guy. So, we gotta take this one down too. Gotta eat one more. <laughs> Look at this. Super delicious. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my, oh my. Heaven. Like heaven. Chicho, you're always giving me some positive vibes. No one else can, that, can do that. Thank you, my pleasure. Thanks for being here. Oh yeah, this timer. This is done. We can turn the oven off. Look at this. Bam. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna put in another plate because what you don't wanna do is put hot take it up hot on top of this right because it'll make the these guys soggy so you want them to be crispy what i'm going to do i'm going to bring another plate that gives me chills i need to make a similar one <laughs> awesome Awesome. Look at this. Look at this goodness. Look at this goodness. Persians will kill for this. Armenians will kill for this. Look at that. Look at this. Like you would pour someone a dish and you would give them this. Oh. And it's awesome that you know you don't make all the bread the same size different sizes right and one reason i made it in two trays is because <laughs> all the god says i will kill for this <laughs> i made two trays um is because i wanted to get more and this is called tadik in uh, in Persian and Farsi and I wanted to make sure we had lots of tadik all right look at this phenomenal and this is the rice and I can just put this in on the other platter right which i'm not going to do right now it's hot so i'm not going to touch it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off these cameras and show you this glorious glorious two two trays of daddy are you ever going to do this uh the same dish again or always something new i enjoyed the bur uh 
borscht, borscht stream. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I was almost going to make borscht this time too. But uh, I went and visited my father and he gave me borscht. So I ate borscht for a couple of days. So I wasn't in the mood for borscht. I was in the mood for this. Right? But for sure, we're going to make borscht again. Borscht is a staple diet uh, for me. For our family, really. So take a look at this. Uh, this is, this is going to be... Uh, Armenians and Persians going oh my god right salute check this out check this out <laughs> what's the timestamp we gotta take a pic of this <laughs> look at this very nice Tadik two trays of Tadik very good very good <laughs> this is going to be the thumbnail for the video it has to be it has to be right awesome awesome Cheryl you mentioned uh, uh, using fatty ribs yeah fatty I've done with fatty ribs on this oh my god would cook the ribs separately and remove the meat as you did the lambs shanks or just toss them in between the bread and rice i i, I left the uh, ribs on there so i cook up the ribs and i lay down the ribs with the bones on there you just got to make sure everybody knows that there's bones in there right so eat it slowly and whatnot one of the reasons i i use lamb shank a fair bit is because i can cut it off and we know there's no bones in here so you can eat it without worrying too much uh, the only worry is beans and lentils and stuff like this. Sometimes they have rocks in them, right? So that's the only danger part with cooking with beans and lentils and stuff like this. Uh, Skag, awesome. Thank you very much. Three, three hours and nine minutes. Three hours and nine minutes and 50 seconds is a timestamp for that. Awesome. That's what we're going to use for the thumbnail for it. I got a screenshot. You got a screenshot. Also, I need to eat more of this tadik. Look at this. Look, like seriously. Look at this deliciousness. There is the lamb, right? With the lentils and the rice, and the and the sort of the juices of the lamb when we cooked it, right? And the crispiness. Let me flip this. The crispiness of the bread right heaven and the crunch addict addicting x you said the right word it's addictive right it's very addictive like look at this salute Mm hmm mm. wow wow one more <laughs> right Can you put the paste on? Oh, the paste on, yeah. But for this, we usually don't put the paste on it. We use the paste for eating with the rice. But Gina, for you, we do. It gives me a chance to eat more of this. Just put the paste on it. Let's put a lid, hold on. I'm gonna grab a fork. So take a little bit of paste. Ooh, 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 ooh. Crumbly, crumbly. Right. Ooh. Crumbly, crumbly. Take a look. Put a little bit of paste on there. You got the lamb on there. You got the lentils on there. You got the bread on there. You got the rice on there. Right. Mmm. 
Gina, great idea. Great idea. Mm-hmm. That's what it takes. There's one more there. <laughs> also, two more. Or <laughs> three more. One more. One more. Really. Gotta do. Just, just one more. I'm gonna put paste on it. Lost the reason. Come here, are you? All right. Mm. Really? Super delicious. Posted in Discord general, awesome Aldegon. <laughs> Gang, salute. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you end up making it yourself. If you do, I hope you love it. I hope you love it. Okay. Cooking, meditative, healthy for you. Phenomenal for you, empowers you. Cheers, Chicho and Chat. Cheers, Coolio. Cheers. Salute with Strongbow, awesome Elder God. Gang, thanks for being here. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Cooking your own food really makes you happier. Indeed, indeed. I wouldn't be personally who I am if I hadn't learned apprentice under our elders to learn the recipes, the foods, and how to how to deal with food, how to interact with food. Uh, and definitely, if I wasn't, if I didn't know how to grow food, right? Growing your own food, interacting for food, becoming independent from centralized institutions, centralized power to feed you, to educate you, to make you happy, right? Do it yourself. Do it within your community. Do it within your friends. Do it within your family. Do it, do it within people you can relate to, right? Food should be one of the central pillars of anyone's life, as, as far as I'm concerned, the way I see it, okay? Gang, if you want to know what this is all about, I always cook with my brother, and it's always amazing. Awesome, Skag. Awesome. Gang, if you want to know what this is all about who i am i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike you can follow the work there and if you think this works deserves some support you can support this work through patreon for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon for all these years thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and we will continue to do this for as long as we can okay gang we are live streaming on twitch and the chat is here so if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at mods again thank you very much for the support thank you for being here gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the bits thank you for the interaction thank you for the love thank you for the discussions thank you for the advice thank you for the questions i hope you enjoy these live streams gordon ramsay cooked me breakfast once true story is it awesome elder god the dish looked delicious yeah punisher max so good have a great day chicho you too skag you too skag x Gang, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds VK Parlor Gab and Twitter. You can follow the work there, and um, we do share some additional information as well, as well as some pics and whatnot. And we do have a Discord page, gang. The link will be in the description of this video, and it is available through if you type in exclamation mark social. There should be a Discord link there, and there is. 
it'll pop up and it's on our main twitch page and it's everywhere you can find our discord page there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information and advice and lots of love right lots of love for live streams where we don't have any visuals and we had a lot of visuals today when we don't have any visuals when we do open discussions the audio for those live streams are available on soundcloud.com uh, forward slash chicho chycho as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes my pleasure cheryl thank you for being here and thank you for sharpening your sword as well <laughs> right and this video will be available on both bit and youtube and for those of you that are following the work on bit and youtube thank you for following the work thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing thank you for liking thank you for commenting and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and for those of you who've joined youtube membership thank you very much for joining youtube membership uh appreciate the support gang i hope you enjoyed uh this cookout it was very nice and chill uh end result was phenomenal and uh i'm gonna be eating uh some uh, Persian Armenian rice dish <laughs> munching on some of these things <laughs> for a couple of days now long live Chicho and long live everyone elder god it was great awesome Punisher Max gang have a fantastic Sunday and I'll see you guys tomorrow politics uh, Tuesday personal finance Wednesday entheogens Thursday mathematics I believe Friday and Saturday we do comic book readings and then next week we're doing julian assange for two days bye everyone